Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Aaron's Harp. My name is Darby and I'll be your bartender. Today, our special is the painkiller. All right, the painkiller. If you are a pina colada fan, right? I'm sorry. Full stop, I guess. Uh, no, if you're a pina colada fan, this is the grown-up drink for you, all right? Pina coladas are for 21-year-olds. Uh, obviously, you have to be 21 to drink here in America, but if they're for 21-year-olds and uh, middle-aged tourist moms, okay? I'm sorry, pina coladas are gross. Painkiller is much better. So let's make a painkiller. Painkiller is a really cool um, cocktail. It is, I believe, the 1970s from the, hold on, I'm gonna get this right on the first try, the Soggy Dollar Bar, okay? So the Soggy Dollar was an island, a floating island bar um, in the Caribbean. It's really, really cool. It's one of those places I'd really like to go just to experience one time. Um, whether or not I actually will, that remains to be seen. I'm not a huge tiki fan, um, and I'm not a huge, like, uh, I don't get into this kind of cocktail. This really isn't my forte, but I do like the painkiller, and I had a friend of mine tell me that uh, he's an idiot, basically. No, you're not an idiot, buddy. You know who you are. You like pina coladas. You said you're super basic and you like your pina coladas, so I'm going to make you the better adult version of a pina colada. All right, so at the Soggy Dollar, they have like the painkiller one, two, and three, right? And it's how much pain are you in? Is it one, two, or three? It just means how much rum is in the thing, okay? Um, let me preface all this by saying you are supposed to use a specific rum. This is much like the dark apostrophe N stormy. Um, if you call it the dark and stormy with an apostrophe N, you're supposed to use Gosling's Dark Seal Rum and Barrett's Ginger Beer, if I remember correctly. That's what it's supposed to be, um, which is fine. It's a trademark cocktail. This is very much the same way. You're supposed to use um, Pusser's or Purser's Rum. I tried to find it. Couldn't find it anywhere, looked everywhere. I honestly did because I really wanted to make it the original way. I couldn't find it, so we're gonna go a little different route. I am today instead using this Baco five year dark rum. It is actually a Dominican Republic rum and I adore it. It's got this kind of sweet, funky banana thing going on, but it's not overly funky. So it gives you a nice, beautiful like sugar cane flavor that doesn't overrun this cocktail. This cocktail has a lot of flavors going on. It's very, very similar to, well, it's it's really, it is an adult version of a pina colada, right? And I say that lovingly. So let's get into making this thing. What you're gonna need is a dark rum. You're gonna need a cream of coconut. Now I'm using this, right? This is Simply Squeeze, Cocoa, Real, Gourmet. I got this at, uh, one of the local liquor stores had this on the shelf. Um, you can usually find this at most grocery stores. It's just cream of coconut. If you can't find it in this handy little squeeze container, which these, once you open this, keep it in your refrigerator, okay? Um, they do have an expiration date. It is pretty long, so you can kind of hold on to it for a little while, but keep it in your refrigerator. If you can't find one of these, um, Coco Lopez, you can usually find it down like the imported foods aisles in most grocery stores. It comes in a can. It's a little difficult to use. This I love because it's in a squeeze container. We are going to need 
pineapple juice. I'm using this regular Dole pineapple juice. I love these little cans. Um, these are super simple. Six fluid ounces, we need four ounces. So, little trick there. And then orange juice. Now, some people say fresh squeeze orange juice. From all of the research I found, they were not using fresh orange juice. They were using a an orange juice, that, like a store-bought orange juice. And that's what we're doing. I personally really like this. It is from, it's actually from Sam's Club. It's their like natural quote unquote orange juice. Um, you can absolutely use like uh, simply orange or something like that, especially if you're making these in bulk. Um, the only thing I'll say, don't use, uh, don't use like a from concentrate. They're typically very over sweetened and they will kind of throw off your flavor a little bit, but that's it. All right, so let's get into making this. It's super, super simple, all right? You're gonna need a shaker tin. We're gonna go ahead and start with our orange juice, okay? We're gonna need one ounce of orange juice. We're gonna do these a little out of order of how I would normally, my kitty's crying in the background. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's just being dumb. We're gonna need one ounce of our cream of coconut. Now, if you are not a huge coconut fan, um, you can absolutely cut this back. You know, three quarters of an ounce is really more than enough, in my opinion, for this cocktail. But if you love coconut, especially if you're a big time pina colada drinker, throw a full ounce in there and call her good. We're doing this the original way, so it's a full ounce and it's not gonna wanna come out. But that's why we add it kind of, you know, not last. Now let's open this little bad boy. I love these little cans. This is, unless you're making a ton of cocktails like Bay Breezes and things that use pineapple juice. These little cans are absolutely worth the money that you'll spend. They keep, they store really well in the refrigerator. So super simple. We're gonna need four ounces of this. I'm gonna use this side to kind of clean out my jigger. And then we're gonna go ahead and just do two ounces. Boom, just like that. So one ounce of our orange juice one ounce of our cream of coconut, four ounces, and then two ounces of our dark rum. This is the painkiller number one, all right? I'm not in a lot of pain. Done, add ice and shake. Turns out though, <sighs> it's Monday and I'm in a lot of pain. We're gonna go ahead and make a painkiller number three, which is four ounces of rum. For my second rum, I'm using this Navy Island Jamaica Navy Strength Rum. It's a high proof rum, and I'm only doing this because it's funny, and I like to do things like that. All right, that's it. We're gonna go ahead, add some ice, and shake this bad boy up. Now, you could pour this out over crushed ice, you could pour this out over a cube, you could, Wow, that exploded. You could really do this however you wanted. Crushed ice, I believe, is the normal way to do this. I am going to free pour this, okay? So what I'm gonna do, for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna do one full, there it is. I'm gonna do one full cube, broken up into my shaker. Go ahead and pour this in. And now, quickly shake hard. We're not gonna shake this for a long time. Vigorous, fast shake, okay? Don't be afraid of this one. We gotta just get it shook. Um, and that is because our, I put all this stuff right in my way, didn't even think about it. My cool little like two and a half rocks glass, you know what? Let's go ahead and free pour this. All of it right in, just a wide open free pour. Let's see if we can fit it all. Oh, look at that, that is perfect. All right, for garnish, I have garnishes today. Look at me just going to town. All right, fresh ground nutmeg is normally, from what I found, the fresh ground nutmeg was the standard garnish. So we're just gonna go ahead and, and this is the way that I like doing it anyway, that fresh ground nutmeg really does add something special to it. You can usually get this in most grocery stores, typically, sometimes it's a little harder to find. Get that, get a little microplane collar good. 
You could throw a pineapple wedge in there if you wanted, but I've got three little fronds. Let's just kind of get those guys in there. Um, if you were serving this, I'd serve this definitely with a straw. It's uh, gonna be considerably easier to drink, but if you don't serve it with a straw, that nutmeg is absolutely phenomenal when it hits you, all right? Stick a straw in that bad boy, and my cool little pink glass that my wife absolutely had to have. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the painkiller, the grown-up pina colada, pina colada for adults. All pina coladas are for adults. Drink responsibly, children. Oh, it's heaven. It's heaven. I am not, right? I'm not a tiki guy. I don't really care for the tiki cocktails. They're not my thing. I'm a whiskey guy. But that, ladies and gentlemen, especially using four ounces of rum, that's gonna kill a lot of pain. And that is phenomenal. Ladies and gentlemen, the painkiller. If you haven't tried it, if you're interested in something like this, if you like pina coladas, give the painkiller a try, this is phenomenal. Let's try and get some tasting notes here. You know, here's the thing, right? Um, orange juice comes right through. You get orange juice in it, and one ounce doesn't seem like it would be enough but it absolutely is. The pineapple comes right, cuts right through everything too because there's a nice acidity there. Um, and those two, pineapple and orange juice mix really well together. Pineapple juice kind of does give it that froth. That's why you don't wanna shake it for a long time. You're gonna shake it quickly and just pour it out. As does uh, coconut, right? Coconut will froth up very quickly. That's where this beautiful, I don't know if you can see this through this glass. That's why I always use clear glasses so you can see, but this beautiful foam that's on top is the combination of our pineapple and our coconut really just frothing up quickly. Um, and that foam is beautiful. It's very delicate. It's the foam itself very much has a coconut flavor, but it's not overpowering. I used a full ounce in there and I think a full ounce while using four ounces of rum really does help. Um, it's not overpowering. It's definitely still there. If you're doing two ounces, I personally would cut my coconut back a little bit, right? If you do two ounces, probably do three quarters of an ounce of coconut just to be on the safe side. But using these two rums really does kind of cut things down. And let's talk about our rum selection. So this Baco five year, um, if you're familiar with plantation five year, this is very similar. I would say this is probably a little sweeter, a little less like funk rum banana thing going on. This definitely has more sugarcane flavors in it, which I really like that like sugarcane juice flavor. Nose is very sweet. Um, it's very, it's tempting, right? Like you want to drink that. I've had that absolutely just literally on ice in a glass and it's phenomenal. And then this, Navy Island, Navy Strength Rum from Jamaica. It's a typical Jamaican style pot still rum. Very strong. It's, you know, 100, uh, what is this? Yeah, 114 proof. Like <laughs> this stuff, it's strong. But it, it's not an overpowering. It doesn't have a super like alcohol infused flavor. And I think that that lends itself really well as like the backup rum in this. So. Coconut is there, it's present. It doesn't get lost. Pineapple is ever present, right? It's always there. Orange juice is there up front and then it kind of tapers off. It adds a little sweetness. Then your rums come through and that mixture of the two different rums is awesome. They, they make a really good team. The Baco's a little sweeter. The Jamaican Navy Strength is a little bit stronger so it gives you a good melding of flavors, you know, that heat and sweet. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The painkiller, the grown-up pina colada. I hope you guys enjoy. If you're in pain, this is the remedy. Thank you all so much. I'm so sorry that I was late last week or actually non-existent last week. It just was, it was nuts. I just had so much to do. And when you're a one-man show, it's just the way it has to be sometimes. So anyway, 
Thank you all so very much. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I know I'm going really fast today, but again, I've got a bunch of stuff I gotta get through. End of my work day, I needed a cocktail. This is the cocktail that I needed. So thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week, weekend. Please enjoy this weekend. Sit back, relax, have a painkiller, numb a little bit of that pain. That's a, don't do that. You don't numb pain with alcohol. You find the source of your pain and you fix it, okay? Anyway, thank you guys so much. Remember, please don't drink and drive. Drink responsibly. Tip your bartenders, people like me. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you all so much. And to those of you who have requested the painkiller, keep those requests coming because this is a good one. Mm. That's going to be gone here in just a second.